Hello guys, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. So as you can see on the screen, this is the website of Seven Island Maritime Training Institute. There has been a many requests from a subscriber to make a video on this college. How is this college especially for ETO course? Since this is a new college and recently only they have completed the first ETO batch and the application for the second ETO batch is already open. So many of my friends wanted to know whether they should consider this college for the ETO course. And since this college also provides a sponsorship, so I also um, recommend this college is a good option if you want to do ETO course. There are few drawbacks and there are few good points also about this college and this company which I am going to share with you later in this video. So Seven Island is a company also and they have their own institute and along with that C-SPAN and v -SIP, these two companies are also coming and taking admission for the ETO or other batches. So let us click on no more to get more details about the ETO eligibility and what are the course details. So passport is a mandatory document. So before joining this course, at least one month in advance, you should have passport before the course starts. So let's get to the more details. The batch size is 40 students in each batch. It's a four month course. After that, eight months onboard training and the fees for the course is 3,90,000 and batch commencement February 2024. So next month only the batch is starting, application is open. So let's get to the admission process. Mm. Admission process will be similar to all other colleges like apply for the application, then exam, interview, then sponsorship letter, medical, all these things. Mm. Let's get to the eligibility criteria. So to get admission into Seven Island ETO course, the first eligibility criteria is a past four years BE BTEC degree, including lateral entry with 50% marks in electrical engineering. So you should have 50% marks in your BTEC if you have done BTEC. A candidate must have secured minimum 50% marks in class 10th or class 12th. So minimum 50% marks in English is required. The candidate must have passed 10th or 12th from a standard recognized board degree must be recognized by any state government or AICT. The second criteria for seven island DTO course is candidate who were admitted in diploma course on the basis of matriculation, matriculation only and went to complete their BE BTEC degree course as a lateral entry in second year of degree. So those who have done diploma after class 10th and then did BTEC degree they are also eligible. Next criteria is pass three years diploma with 60% marks in electrical engineering, elect electronics engineering, electrical and electronics engineering, the all the equivalent departments. So, Seven Island Company is a good option for those students who have not done BTEC. Since this college is providing sponsorship, you have job guarantee. Now, let's go to course overview and electrotechnical officer to get more in-depth details of the course. Here, they have given program features invest 3 lakhs 90 thousand rupees this is including your tuition fees free lodging boarding cost of professional books uniforms accessories all these things full residential course four months now the part which i am talking about which is a drawback for this college learn and earn while onboard training with us minimum stipend of 10 thousand rupees per month for initial eight months this is the part which i am not happy with because this the investment amount the the course fees it's similar to all other colleges like near to four lakhs rupees but the stipend which they are giving is far far less than other companies ten thousand rupees is very very less amount for eto and engineer because he is spending four lakhs rupees he might have taken loan to complete his btech degree or diploma degree again loan for four lakhs rupees for eto course and what he is earning is only ten thousand rupees per month the average salary for ETO trainee is at least $400 to $800 and those who might have seen my video which I have made on COC preparations the total expense for COC which you have to give exam after your eight months of onboard training it's almost near to one lakhs rupees and even if you do eight months of trainee ETO you are getting only 80,000 rupees and you have to spend at least one lakhs rupees for your ETO COC preparations so again what you are earning is not at all sufficient for your own expense forget about the exams and all these things and if selected by other foreign partners this stipend will be much higher but out of that only two companies cspan and vcp is coming which 
you don't know whether you will be selected or not but in the career progress they are giving 60000 rupees per month for 6 months as assistant dto this is a good amount but still it is lesser than other companies but here 150000 rupees per month as a electro technical officer without coc so here they are taking you without coc also and they will be providing 150000 if it is soon after your second contract they are providing you ETO technical officer with salary one lakh fifty thousand, then it is okay. But uh, don't know how much, how many contracts they will be telling you to wait before you join as an electro technical officer. But uh, if they are giving this in a third contract, then it's a good amount. And after COC, they are saying that they will be increasing the salary to two lakhs thirty thousand rupees with COC. So this amount is a good amount for a, any Indian who is a electrical engineer. But if you compare to outside foreign companies, this salary is still less. You should at least demand $3,500 with your COC in any bulk carrier or container. If it is tanker or gas carrier, it is still higher. Another drawback of this college, which I feel is a three years of bond period after your COC, if you are given employment by the Seven Island Company. And in the next part, what they have written in the last line, which you can read, post the structured seaboard training, candidates will have to go four months of preparatory course for appearing for an examination conducted by DGS shipping and obtaining a certificate of competency. This part I have never heard for ETO, the, that there is a preparatory course. After four months of pre-C and eight months of onboard training, we are directly eligible for our COC examinations. We can do this exam with our own self-study and we don't need any preparations or any preparatory course, any coaching. This, But I don't know why they have written here the preparatory course. This might be a mistake or we need to confirm from college what does this mean. Four months of preparatory course. We, uh, usually this preparatory course is for class four or other examinations uh, like third officers in the deck side. But for ETA course, there is no preparatory course. We can directly give exams after our eight months of shipboard training. And another good part about this college is that the sponsorship by C Span Drive. So C Span is a very good company, and they are giving a sponsorship to those students who are taking admission in this Seven Island company. But the eligibility criteria for C Span is different than this Seven Island. Whereas Seven Island gives admission to both BTEC and Diploma, but if you want to get into CSPAN, you should have at least BTEC degree. Minimum BTEC degree is required and passed in first attempt with minimum of 60%. So you should pass your degree in first attempt and 12th PCM should be minimum 60% and maximum age also is only 24 years. So all these three criteria you have to maintain to get into CSPAN. So it's also a very, very tight uh, eligibility criteria especially the, about the age only 24 years are eligible for this company and the selection process about this you have to apply in the seven island company you will receive a mail for online test by cspan once qualified in the test there will be a personal interview and please mention cspan drive in the reference page when you are applying for the eto here once you click on the apply here the application form for course electro technical officer batch 3 actually i think batch 2 is starting in february and this is the application form for batch 3 so i think batch 2 might already be completed so they have here the application form is only for batch 3 also vcp is coming in this college person sponsorship but uh, here they have not mentioned anything no other much details about the vcp their uh, eligibility criteria or all these things but overall if you ask me whether you should consider seven island you know, time training institute for ETA course or not if you are a btech holder and if you are eligible for other colleges like anglo seems tulani great Eastern, you must apply there if you're not getting all those four colleges then of this college is a good option if you are getting a cs pan drive but only drawback which I feel which uh, hesitates me to get admission into this is the very less salary. What information I have shown you, it's from the website of uh, Seven Island Institute. So website is the main source of information for us. So this is what uh, I also believe and others should, you should also believe what is given on the website. So that's all from my side in this video. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.